human beings are still fish. Human beings are fish? Why, yes, of course they are. In the waters off the east coast of South Africa, 300 feet below the surface, divers search for a creature that existed before the time of the dinosaurs, a living fossil. 350, 400 million years old. Some call it the ghost fish, king of the sea. Others, monster of the deep. On a moonless but fairly bright night, you can actually see those eyes glowing. For over half a century, the search has persisted. And there have been divers who've died trying to find these fish. Those who come in contact with it are changed forever. You get this kind of science fiction chill in the back of your neck and going down your spine. A creature thought to have been extinct for over 50 million years. A great primitive fish. A coelacanth. Its ancestors date back 400 million years to a time when all Earth's creatures lived underwater and the great transition to living on land was about to begin. Was the coelacanth with its fleshy, leg-like fins, the missing link in evolution from fish to land animals. Coelacanths were long considered extinct, known to science only through ancient fossils that displayed these curious limb-like fins. But one fateful day in 1938, everything changed. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Six Lakes Street. Marjorie Courtney Latimer was then the 31-year-old curator of a small natural history museum in East London, South Africa. Professor J.L.B. Smith was trained as a chemist, but his passion was ichthyology, the study of fish. For J.L.B. Smith, it was more than rare. It was an impossibility. If that drawing were correct, this fish should have died out with the dinosaurs. That tail belongs to fishes that have been extinct for millions and millions of years. In order to save the fish for scientific study, she had it skinned and mounted. But, uh, these are about um, a shade over 200 million years old. Now these didn't get much bigger than this. These coelacanths lived at a time when uh, North America was still attached to Africa. So uh, New York would have been very close to Morocco at this time. Coelacanths first appeared along with the other major groups of fishes we know today about 400 million years ago. Fins that had a limb-like structure. All life came from the sea. And when we realize that life is really just an evolution of forms, these are the closest relatives to our ancestors. And then we, intellectually, would like to know who was the closest, who was the missing link. We're dying to know what was that step from the fishes to the amphibians. And when they discovered coelacanth fossils, they said, aha, it must be this, this thing that walked out of the water. The coelacanths have lived for probably 350 million years and in that time, they have changed but little. But it was the limb-like fins that really caught the attention of Smith and the world. They had their own internal skeleton, more like our limbs than the fins of a normal fish. As you see, the fins are more like paddles than ordinary fins. Indeed, our arms were developed from a pectoral fin like that of this fish. I have no doubt that this fish crawls about on the bottom quite easily. He wrote a book, Old Forelegs. The coelacanth was almost exclusively studied in the Department of Comparative Anatomy. The French team found a series of contradictory features. 
In some ways, the coelacanth looked very primitive, with organs and glands similar to those of sharks and rays, and a tiny heart, which is little more than an expansion in the main blood vessel. In other ways, the coelacanth resemble tetrapods, those four-limbed creatures that include everything from the very first land dwellers to human beings. So was the coelacanth the closest living relative of tetrapods, the missing link? Some scientists said yes, others no. In the snout of the fish, a strange jelly-filled cavity was discovered. It initially puzzled researchers, but is now thought to be an elaborate electroreceptive organ. And we believe that this is used to detect minute um, electrical impulses um, put out by prey organisms. My coelacanths have survived for 400 million years. Their outward appearance has changed little. Its advanced method of reproduction, coelacanths give birth to live young and have done so for 200 million years. But unexpectedly, films of the coelacanth showed how the multiple fins function and laid to rest the idea of a crawling fish, first put forward by J.L.B. Smith. Smith said, uh, yeah, they are creeping on the bottom, uh, like seals, and of course they don't. They are not walking. They are continuous hovering above the ground. 